The following video features excerpts from two recorded live lessons that are available to members at thevirtualinstructor.com. For more information on how you can access the complete videos, as well as all the other recorded live lessons and courses, visit thevirtualinstructor.com forward slash members. I have my watercolor pencils. And uh, the watercolor pencils I'm using here are the Derwent brand. Here's a look at the, the cover of the tin I have. I have not get too carried away with all the details here. Like I said, we're going to be loose. Uh, we're going to keep things as simple as possible. Now, the direction that you make your strokes here is important because with watercolor pencils, the uh, texture of the paper and the texture of the mark that you make will show through even, at, even after everything has been activated. So you can see those uh, that little bit of light violet there is still showing through and those colors just mix really nicely and just on the other side we can still see some of the trees through here so I'm going to leave a little bit of space there in case we want to make sure we add and maybe I'll just slowly bring that up or gradually bring that up rather. and you know our, our viewer doesn't have to know that that's a wagon they don't have to know what it is uh, they just have to see a different shape or a different color and uh, usually that's enough to uh, add some interest to the drawing I don't know maybe you're the same as me or maybe you're one of those people that is more process oriented likes to go through every step of the process that's fine either way okay there's a tree trunk kind of off in the distance so I'm gonna go ahead and fill that in with the copper beach if you wanted to you could even leave some of this brown on here as brown make a definitely put a lot of focus on the barn now of course there are ink tense pencils too which are a little bit different because they have they're actually ink that is activated and then there's graphite tint pencils which are colored graphite that are activated with water so that helps sometimes because some people are really afraid about pulling the masking tape off the paper because if you're not careful it will it can tear the paper if, when you work so long on a painting uh, you don't want that to happen of course yeah, you see it's pretty dark see how strong that black can be let's see before we lift it and say oh that's too dark we're going to give it a minute to dry a bit and then kind of... this area is what I'm talking about right there and I love the purple down here at the bottom of the building kind of showing through there all right and try not to let yourself get too stiff with this you know allow it to be a little bit looser all right, so whenever you're using brown and blue together, let's get that back in the shot here. Um, a lot of times these can be used in conjunction to make darker values uh, like blacks, natural blacks. Um, they can also be used to sway the color temperature. Uh, like for example, um, we can make some, we can make a, a tree stand out as being different um, according to how we use the brown and the blue on here. We can make one tree a little bit warmer, one tree a little bit and as I activate it, I'm going to try to make marks that kind of mimic the marks that I made with the pencil. Just kind of give the indication that there's more back there. And we'll just kind of let that fade out over here. And then created somewhat of a horizon line back here we'll put a very light application of that and how we have that difference in space there because of the different application here we've got the lighter heel and then the closer area which is got stronger contrast and sometimes it does. So but you gotta you gotta be willing to to try it and see what happens. 
All right, so we're getting a little bit of color here. Now, one thing I wish I would have done a little bit more here of is creating breaks in the trees. We kind of got kind of pulled into creating these textures, and I don't feel like I have enough breaks in the trees. I've got a few breaks in the trees, especially over here, but not as much as I, I wish I would have had now in retrospect. And uh, we go a lot darker in some of these areas, but I just want to kind of it accentuate some of the branches that come out, and then we're gonna we're gonna call this one uh, finished. I think you guys kind of get the idea here. Uh, so I'm gonna start down here, and we're gonna let this black just sit on the surface, and even much like a, a branch would. And the branches can bend down and bend up. To learn how you can access the complete lessons, please visit thevirtualinstructor.com forward slash members. Members have access to over five video courses, live instruction, and over 6,280 minutes of art instruction, which includes video courses, ebooks, weekly live instruction, and lesson plans. To learn more about membership, just click on the Learn More Now button.